Okay, this is our 2006 Yukon Denali XL. I usually try to make these kind of short, but I'm going to be showing a lot of stuff, so I hope I don't bore you to death. And if I get a little long, I'll have to stop and do a second one. But as you can see, the vehicle is uh, on the outside is in very, very nice shape. You can see the tread on the tire. I didn't really find anything on the outside that stood out at all. Got a little blemish right there. And a little one right there. The other stuff's just dirt from just finished having a whole bunch of rain. We come all the way around. As far as the back goes, everything is in pretty nice shape all the way around. Uh, you do have a little uh, wear on the wiper right there in the corner on the wiper arm. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's a, there's a little, oh, that almost looks like it. Yeah, that'll come off right there. Uh, somebody rubbed against it with something. Side looks just fine. We got a couple of little bitty scratches right there. Uh, but as far as the outside goes, Oh, here's a little, somebody caught a little curb right here in the front. You can see that little mark right there. Tough to see it, like you say, in the pictures from way back. It does have the roof rack on her. Let me get up here on top. Okay, now we'll start with the inside. Over here on the door panel, it does have the memory seats. And if you can see that, they both both positions do work. Of course, you can program those for yourself. It does have the heated seats, the front and back option. It also has the power pedals and they do work. I don't know if you can see those moving or not, but they're moving in the car. Uh, power mirrors. Uh, how did that go? I think you have it in the middle. I'm pretty sure that has the power fold feature. I just not sure I'm using it right. Uh, let's take a look here. All your light controls, your rear wiper, and that uh, in the back it does work. Uh, back again here. The odometer. No lights on the gauges. Uh, you know, as far as ABS or check engine. You've got your controls here. Power seat. And it is working. Power recline. Lumbar as well. Side airbags. Uh, let me move in the car a little bit. <laughs> okay. The reason she didn't have the nav on is because the nav disc wasn't in it. Uh, it does have the nav disc. And you can go in and you know do all your stuff and everything works on it there. Go back. And if you can hear, um, I do have the XM on right now. Go back in. Yeah, it does have the XM. Uh, it, it's XM compatible, uh, but it's only getting channel one as we discussed before. Um, we do have dual climate controls here, and the air is blowing very cold. Uh, and the rear air works as well for the back seat passengers. Uh, you do have the sunroof up here, and that does work as well. Opening up, shutting up. Ah, you can see the visors, they aren't broke, hanging or anything. It's working there. Uh, let's see, traction control on the dash. 
your CD player down below. Now, in the, oops, sorry, got my coffee in the way. Get that out. You do have some wear along the edges. A little storage area, a power port. Uh, this closes up. You got a little edge here. For your cup holder, and that pops for your ashtray lighter there in the center. In the center console, the center console seemed very tight. Power port on the inside, CD storage, or trash, whatever you want to put in there. Uh, this is the passenger seat. Fantasy sports news and information, expert analysis, statistics, interviews, and your phone calls about your fantasy sports. Love box. It does have the you know they give you a little cord for electric trailer brake. It comes with them when they're new. It's still in there. It's for the back. Power windows and locks. Everything worked there. I did try it all. Uh, it does have OnStar and built-in compass. I don't know if that's coming in. Doesn't look like it in my screen. Okay, put my coffee back in the console. Okay, now, you also asked about the rust on the doors. Hopefully you can see that well. I did not find any anywhere along on it. And let me go into the back seat. Back door, all the way across. It does have some, uh, when they clean the carpet, it looks like there's a little space. It's definitely there. Uh, you can see in the back, your rear seat entertainment. Uh, and temp, you also have heated seats. Uh, both back outside seats. You also have your rear seat entertainment. And turn it on here. And it does come on and tells me there's no disc in it. Oh, there it is. Sorry, it's pushing the button a bunch. Uh, now, I do not have any headsets or remote with the vehicle. Those are available. Uh, you can get them online or you can play it through the car. Well, this does not have the headsets with it. Um, it's just the center console in the back. Let's see the seats all the way along. Which also in the back. This, now you said this would uh, take it out. Now you can lay that seat down. If you can see in the back here, on the back of this seat, once you lay that seat flat, got these that you know you lay this front one down that I'm standing on and these will flip down out of this uh, little latch system and give you a full load floor you do have to take that back seat out but it'll give you the, the full length of the back there as well and let's see Good look headliners fine all the way around okay and while I'm thinking of it you had asked about Oh, the seat condition. That's what it was. I wanted to check. And I can see right now my video is too long. Alright. In the back here, this is the nav disc. The quick, uh, you know, get to know your car, all the OnStar stuff. This is the original MSRP, and I'm hoping. You may be able to read that. It just shows that it's uh, Sun Entertainment Destinations package, nav radio, uh, sunroof. Uh, this vehicle was 55,950. It looks like it's a little more on that, but you should be able to see it there. Uh, owner's manuals in it as well. The floor mats uh, got some wear, uh, but not too bad, uh, depending on what you want to use in it. Uh, this piece. I don't know. It was uh, laying in the car. I don't know where it goes. So uh, you get a, either an extra piece or you get to play find where it goes and stick it in. Now, I think that'll give you just about everything you wanted to know on it. So give me a holler back and let me know.